Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing. Today we are going to see how to drag and drop components in a GUI frame. So we're going to make sure that we have an image in our images folder here. We are having my logo, that PNG image in the folder. So if you don't have an image, you can put the image in your project folder. So now, apart from the main class that we are having here that are called test app class, we are going to need two more classes. The first one will be the myframe that Java class, which is going to extend or inherit the properties and the methods from the JFrame class. And now I'm going to create a new class. Okay, you can click on file, new, and then class. I will call this class image panel and then click on finish so for this class especially it's going to extend or inherit the j panel class so i will say extends j panel and here i will need to import the j panel class in my image panel class so this particular class is going to create an object of type j panel and that object is going to be useful for holding our image all right so now let's come back to our my frame that java class where we are defining the various attributes of the frame so here we have the various attributes the size the title the location relative to and then the set visible method so now we are going to declare an instance of our image panel class in the myframe class. So we will simply come here and say image panel, and I'm going to call this image underscore panel. We need to instantiate that by saying new image panel like this, and then semicolon. Now we can add the image panel to the frame. So we will say this, that add image underscore panel so that's it for now so let's come back to our image panel in this particular class we need to add a constructor so we will say image panel we will open the curly braces we are going to add another method so we will call this method public void paint component then graphics say j so here we need to import the graphics class we are going to add some inner classes so the first one we will say private class click listener extends mouse adapter now open and close the curly braces import the mouse adapt adapter we will copy paste here so we will simply change this instead of click listener we will say drag listener and as for this one we're gonna uh, extend the mouse motion adapter uh, let's us import the mouse motion adapter class okay so we have our two inner classes so let's come up here we are going to declare and instantiate uh, our image icon globally so we will say image icon image new image icon and then in here we need to specify the path so we'll say images my underscore logo that png let import the image icon class so after we have done that we need to declare some constant variables so we're going to declare the image width and then the height of that uh, image so these are going to be constant values so let me say final int i'll call this img width and then we will say image that's the name of our image icon that get icon width so this is gonna capture the width of the icon so we will do the same thing for the height so let me just copy paste it down here and instead of image width i will say image height and then here i will change the method instead of get icon width i will say get icon height all right after that we are going to create some points so the first one i will say point image underscore corner let me import the point class like this i am going to declare another point i'll say point and this one i will say previous point all right so now in the constructor we need to instantiate our points so let's say that here in our constructor we will 
first instantiate our image corner point. So we say image corner assignment operator new point zero zero. And after that, we need to create a um, click listener class instance. Let's say click listener. I will call this click listener assignment operator new click listener. This is a click listener. So we need to add a mouse listener to our panel. So to make sure that the panel would actually listen to the mouse event. So we say add mouse listener. And in here, we can pass the click listener instance. So that's what we're going to do. We will say click listener like this. Uh, okay, this is a lowercase l. Uh, let me put that capital L here. I will also change here. All right, so now we have added the mouse listener and then passed click listener instance as the argument. So we're going to do the same for the drag listener. So we need to create a drag listener instance. So I will say drag listener and I will call it drag listener, new drag listener. And I'm going to add the mouse motion listener to our panel. So I will say this add mouse motion listener and then i will say drag listener and semicolon so for now that's it we need to put in our image panel constructor so in the paint components method we are going to add some code so first of all we are going to inherit from the super paint paint component uh, so we will say super that paint component and uh, the graphics we called it G, okay? That's gonna make reference to this argument that we are passing here in the method. And now we can work on our image. So we have this image icon we called image here. So we will say image that paint icon. So we have four parameters we need to pass here. So the first one will be this. The second one, I'll pass graphics. And the next ones are going to be the X axis and the Y axis of my image. Okay, but we have the point called image corner that we can use to actually get the axis of our image. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cast this X, Y axis into integer values. So we say int here and then say image underscore corner that get X. So that's it. We will do the same thing for our y axis, image corner, get y. So after we have done that, we will come inside our click listener class. And in that class, we're going to create a mouse pressed method. Okay, so, and then we're going to de decide or uh, define what will happen if we click on our mouse. So in the click listener private or uh, in a class here, Let's add a method we will call public void mouse pressed. And inside we will simply say mouse event EVT. Okay, so we need to import the mouse event class. And then in the body of this method, we are going to work on our previous point. So this is going to be used to actually return the previous point of our image. So we will say previous point is equal to EVT that get point. So this line of code is going to make sure to save the point of our image or our panel. And then this will update the previous point to whatever we click. And so the next thing we will do is to work on the drag listener. And we're going to create a mouse drag met method. So this is going to define what will happen whenever we drag our mouse. So public void mouse dragged, and we will say mouse event EVT. Open and close the curly braces. In the body of this particular method, so we are going to add or instantiate another point. We will say point, and we will call it current point, and we will say EVT that get point. So what this will do is that it's going to update the current point of our panel to wherever we click. All right, so now let us define the positioning of the image whenever we drag it, okay? So we are gonna say image underscore corner because that's a point 
translate and then we are going to determine the position of the image what will that be so first of all we are going to work on the x-axis so we will say we need to convert this into integer values so we will say int like this and then in the brackets we will say that the new position of the image or the panel would be the current position minus the previous position so this we have done for the x axis we need to do the very same thing for the y axis as well we will simply copy this and then i'm going to change x by y so here current position that get y and then previous position that get y as well so the current position minus the previous position is going to be the new position of our image panel whenever it is dragged so this is going to make sure that the image panel is going to be movable or draggable so this line of code is going to translate the position of the image panel into a new position whenever it is dragged and what we're going to do we will assign the new position or the current position to the previous position okay so if you recall we said previous position is here when the mouse is pressed we we assign the position of the image to previous and when it's dragged we actually change the position of our image and then when we have finished dragging our image uh, panel we need to update the previous point here so we will simply say previous point assignment operating current point like this simply semicolon and after that we will need to repaint the image panel so let me now run so now you have the image showing in the panel and then when i click on the image you can see i'm being able to drag drag it and drop it all right, guys, so that's it on how to add a drag and drop, you know, functionality to your program. And here we have added it to our frame. We created a panel object. We added it to the frame and then we added some inner classes and some, um, uh, some methods to do just that. So I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.